Bonjour et welcome. You are in the right place today if you are here to see Chef Alain Lenotre. Today, Chef Lenotre is going to show us how to make la galette des rois or the king cake. My name is Melissa Sora and I am the National Program Manager of the Federation of Alliance Française USA. I am joined today by our president, Isabelle Leroux. And the Federation of Alliance Française USA is the largest Alliance Française network in the world with uh, 25,000 learners of French coming through our doors each year. And all of our, the information on all of the chapters in our network can be found on our website, afusa.org. Also on our website at afusa.org, under featured events is a list of all of our national events that are coming up in the next few weeks. All of these events are free to all Alliance Francaise members across the country. Next week, we will wel welcome Roger Mummert, who will be talking about Paris, the city of ideas. After that, we'll have uh, the famous Adrian Leeds, who will be joining us to talk about where to live with France, where to live in France. Adrian is of House Hunters International fame. And after that, we'll have a wonderful presentation on Art Nouveau, uh, from its origins to its current represent representation in, in today's world. And then in February, Chef Alain Lenotre will be back to show us how to make financier. After that, we'll have an event about, uh, about um, Françoise Sagan. And then we'll have um, kind of a renouvellement of an event that we've had in the past about the secrets of mastering French for learners of French. And just to go over the logistics of today's event, uh, which you probably already know, the event will be in English and in French. It'll be a mixture. Please stay on mute during the presentation and stay on speaker view so that you get the best view on your Zoom screen. Please put your questions and your answers into the chat. And if you have any technical issues, sign or kicked out of the Zoom, just sign back in with the original link. And just so you know, the event today is being recorded and will be put up later on our YouTube channel. And the running time is one hour. Today, I have the honor of welcoming Chef Alain Lenotre. A Chef Lenotre is a third generation chef of the Lenotre family. He's the founder of the Culinary Institute Lenotre in Houston, Texas, which is ranked number one in culinary arts colleges in the US and has been for three years in a row by niche.com. In 2021, he contributed to the English translation and republishing of Faites votre pâtisserie comme le nôtre in English, French pastries and desserts by le nôtre. Welcome, Chef Le Nôtre. Thank you very much for the invitation, Melissa. Happy to be here to speak about the Epiphany. That is a, the feast. That is the occasion of the preparation of the king cake. Exactly. Uh, Chef Le Nôtre, let's start with... Um... A question for you about um, about your background in your famous culinary family. Um, if you could tell us about the incident that took place on New Year's Eve at the Pretat, can you pronounce that for me? Pretatelon. Pretatelon, the prestigious salon and restaurant run by your mother Colette Le Nôtre in the Casino Belle Époque in the Bois de Boulogne. Apparently, yes. the event sorry, received a lot of attention in the news at the time? That restaurant uh, was, a, was a still a, a Michelin star restaurant. It still has three star Michelin. And uh, my mother ran that uh, salon restaurant for more than 25 years. The building is owned by the city of Paris. And uh, one New Year Eve, she, uh, every year, every year on New Year Eve, she organized a lavish black tie dinner with orchestra firework in the Bois de Boulogne, in the park. And one year, one night, four armed gangsters rushed into the dining room wearing comic soft politician looking mask and asking for the jewelry and the wallet that was an old up around what midnight, well, almost. And where the one guard was outside, 
I did not notice. My mother tried to negotiate thinking it was a joke because of those masks, that was funny. But they started shooting in the wall and the ceiling. So, so everybody to understand that that was serious. My, my mother's reaction was very brave. She, she took a pile of plates uh, with her assistant, another pile of plates, and they broke it on the head of the first of those guns. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Most of them did that. All the waiters were laying on the floor with the next dish ready to be served. <laughs> and she, she even tried to pull their mask from their face because they came from the back door and she was maybe suspecting some former employee, I don't know. But she could not, she could not succeed doing that. But that, that reaction, uh, so, so the gangster started to collect uh, jewelry and, and wallets from everybody scared to death. The, the orchestra stopped playing. <laughs> and, but that reaction surprised the, the gangster and they, they, uh, they left in a hurry. <laughs> and uh, on their way to, to their car, they, they shot our guard who was badly uh, wounded. It took him one year to recover. And in their uh, panic, we, we can say, they left the bag mm -hmm. uh, on the parking lot. <laughs> so, so everything was re returned to the, to the guest. Can you imagine? <laughs> so the musician uh, started to play again, like in the king boat, you know. But that was uh, for joy here. Yeah. And uh, the evening, uh, the, the dinner started again, and, and uh, the firework was, was uh, fired uh, to the relief of everybody. And, it, and that was a, a great event. Now, the next day, in, in the Parisian newspaper, Colette Lenot was uh, named the Jeanne d'Arc of Bois de Boulogne because of her courage. <laughs> Facing the enemy, <laughs> and this is not the end of the story. She every year she was borrowing a gown from Christian Dor. She cannot. She was wealthy, but she did not want to to buy a such expensive gown. So she had to return it before returning the before returning the gown to Christian Dor. She always sent it to dry cleaning. When her assistant went to get the, the gun back, the dry cleaner said, did you notice there is, there is a hole? <laughs> there is a bullet that went through, the, through, through your gun <laughs> and very close from her body. So she, she's really, she really risked her life doing oh my that. Goodness. My father was upset. He, will not, he, he, was not, he will not have done that. He would have got everything, even his own. <laughs> but he had, he had all the great... Uh, Quality. So, several years later, she received, several years later, she received the Legion of Honor. You know, this is the highest uh, degree you can get from the French government, from the, the French president, by the way. And uh, I, will, I will show it to you. And I think she, you will agree with me that she greatly deserved. Uh, to have received that, that legion of honor. And, and here, here it is. And I'm, I'm proud to display it in, in my college. Uh, you have the colors, yes, yes, it's a beautiful legion of honor. By the way, my, my dad had one, I want to. Wow, quel courage! Okay, thank you. Thank you, Christelle. That was Christelle, uh, the, the director of our pastry department. She's planning. Uh, she's planning uh, all the rehearsal and uh, and the filming. And uh, she's fantastic. She's supervising uh, six other 
phase three shifts. Et voilà. Voilà. Well, thank you so much for sharing that incredible story. Um, <laughs> let's <laughs> let's move on to our first of two videos. The first one is about the Culinary Institute Le Nôtre, and the second one will be uh, how to make the galette des rois. At Culinary Institute Lenault, we create. We create a higher level of excellence. Unstoppable potential. We create innovation built on tradition. Opportunity at every step. We create environments for our students to succeed. To live out their dreams. Born of a legacy of excellence. We are creating the culinary masters of tomorrow. See what you create at Culinary Institute Le Nôtre. I joined uh, Le Nôtre so I can perfection some techniques and learn from the best. It's really exciting to learn from chefs that give you every single ounce of knowledge that they have. I've been doing this for a long time. Just show them, you know, the way it's going to be in the industry. They truly care about each and every student. He's going to hold me to his standard. That actually helped me later in life. I love being able to come to school every day knowing that I'll be challenged in an actual kitchen environment. I was able to gain so much knowledge, technique, and skill. It really helped me and helped me grow as a chef. Quality training gets you excellent chefs. Actually, uh, a lot of my dreams have already come true, thanks to Culinary Institute Lenote. The number one in uh, America. À Pinouillère, les amis de la France. Today we will discover together the almond king cake, that is page 120 of French pastry and dessert by Le Nôtre. But first, I want uh, to continue from the last uh, show on the special event, special re receptions that the Le Nôtre was doing in my old time. And uh, there is one very, very special I want to share with you. This beautiful picture was taken on Place Vendôme for the event presenting to the press and the VIPs the most of Cartier, which is a part of the Cartier collections. And we had to cater under a tent in front of the Ritz, Place Vendôme, for 200 VIPs, 100 couples. And you, you will see from Sophia Lorraine, who came as a good mother of the most of Cartier, Roger Moore, Mrs. Cartier with her parure. By the way, she loaned a similar parure to all the women for that night, for each of them. Imagine the cost of the insurance and, and the security that was in place. And my daddy doing a, his apparition at the end of the dinner, presenting the dessert in blown sugar of ice cream and sorbet 
to the host of the party. And uh, his friend, Paul Bocuse, came from uh, Lyon for the occasion to share the, the fame with the Nôtre. So now, let's go for the first step, the frangipane cream, page 62 of the book. Almond king cake, ingredients for the frangipane cream, 160 grams of butter, 200 grams of confectioner sugar, 200 grams of almond powder, 100 grams of eggs, one large egg yolk, 20 grams of cornstarch, 56 grams of dark rum, 250 grams of vanilla pastry cream. For the building of the king cakes, 600 puff pastry dough, the classic one, page 28 of your book, or quick pastry dough, page 29 your choice. Then 400 grams of frangipan, cream cheese that I just mentioned, and one egg height lightly beaten for the decor. For the equipment, you need a ruler, oven tray, mixer, paddle attachment, whisk, paring knife, parchment paper, and pastry bag or piping bag. Frangipane cream, page 62. First ingredient to cream is the butter. If possible, the bourdon butter, low in water. I'm going to sift together the almond powder and the white powder sugar. And voila, we have the almonds and the sugar together. My butter is almost creamy. again before we're adding the eggs and egg yolk. Egg yolk. I wish you were in the room because it's smell already. It's something. Perfect. Ready for the eggs. More step, better it is, so you don't have chunk. It's uniform. The rest of the eggs. It's getting creamy, but still we have to scrap perfectly. And my last egg here. The rum. So the rum is to taste. There is a weight in the recipe, but to taste. You can put more or less rum. as usual. Scrapping again. Can you imagine doing that for 50 almond king cake? <laughs> Lot of scrapping.
you need good arms. All that work for just one frangipan cream almond king cake. Okay. Here you are. The cornstarch has to be also poured slowly. One more scraping on the blade, on the balls. The cornstarch is in it. So the frangipat cream will be complete with the pesty cream in it. Same thing, same procedure. So again, it's page 66. Et voilà, le frangipan cream is done. Smooth, great. And now we are going to prepare to laminate the dough for that filling. Another fun step is the laminage of the puff dough. You will find the recipe of the puff dough, page 28. This is for the top and the bottom, so I have to cut it in two. Je fleur, je fleur. And no dough sheeting. You know my technique by now. I have rulers, so... I not going to be too thin. The bottom will have to be at three millimeter, the top at two. Three millimeter. The extra dough, we save it, and you have the bottom of your almond king cake. I'm going to laminate the top of my pie, which is a little bit thinner. This one is three millimeters, this one should be two. For the two, this one, the ruler, are excellent. Oh. So the top is a little bit wider than the bottom, see? Et voilà, the top of the almond cream cake is ready. To glue the top to the bottom, I have to wet my dough on the edge, gently, very little. And now I am filling my push this way. Oh, by the way, the recipe I just did of frangipane cream was for two almond cream cake, guiding with my left hand and pushing with my right hand, starting from the center. The filling is there. The top now. Oh, yeah. I 
I'm going to cramp gently the dough, the top dough, chasing the air between the cream and the puff dough. We'll start from the left. The left major push a little bit the dough while I'm cramping with my right hand. So I, I press at the same time that I turn. You see the move? With the back of the, of the knife, obviously. To have a nice color in the oven, I'm going to egg wash with beaten eggs the top of my galette, des rois, before setting to relax the dough in the cooler or in the freezer, I already glaze one time with egg wash. Now it's back from the cooler. I'm going to glaze a second time with, a, with my egg wash. So it's just eggs beaten, not too much. Avoid the edge, because if you, if you spread egg wash on the edge, the puff dough will not raise evenly. So avoid, avoid the edge. All right. The egg wash, it's, it's over. Now, the delicate part, I will do a round curve, but you can do it this way also, if you are not sure, for the first time. I start from the center, from the bottom of my blade. Do we do that? Because it looks nicer, obviously, but it's going to help the puff dough to raise evenly. You apply some pressure. You don't cut the dough, just some pressure with the back of the knife. After the decor and at least half an hour before baking, let it rest, let the dough rest. So you will have a more even decor and a, a better look, a better result. Now the most delicate part of that recipe is the baking. Remember, it's going to rise. So you have to preheat your oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for maybe 30 minutes. When your oven is warm, you can bake your cake in it at 400 degrees for approximately 10 minutes. You can even improve the look of a galette des rois by just coming from the oven, spreading some sugar syrups, uh, thin layers, and back to the oven for another five minutes, and it will come shiny like that. Look how blonde it is. I've been very careful. It's shiny. It's even. The creeping works very well. It's, it's even on the side. So, important step that too many people miss. Move it to a, a baking rack. So it will cool at the bottom and the top at the same time. And then you put it on the plate. And uh, the one who is getting the little, the little baby in ceramic or the little coin will be named king of the night. Bon appétit, bonne fête des rois, have fun, thank you.
Merci, chef le nôtre. Bon, tout le plaisir est pour moi. Euh, on, on parlait du petit bébé. Alors, le voilà. Je vous le présente. Alors, celui-là, il est en celluloïde. Alors, on ne l'a pas mis euh, dans le... Dans le gâteau, parce qu'il aurait fondu à la chair du four. Alors, souvent, on remplace le petit bébé Jésus par une pièce, une jolie pièce euh, enveloppée. Et euh, la surprise est la même. Mais, mais Alors, euh, moi, je triche chez moi, je mets le bébé après. Voilà. Ah, OK, that's the question I was going to ask you. Um... At what moment do you put in the little bébé en porcelaine or bébé en plastique? Oui. Alors, si c'est en porcelaine, vous le mettez euh, au moment où la crème est répandue sur, sur la pâte, dans un, sur un côté. Et si, oh, uh, so I repeat, if uh, you have a porcelain uh, baby, you put it inside the cream before covering with the second layer of puff dough. Uh, if you don't have the porcelain one, you can put a, a coin wrapped in aluminum or like I'm doing with my grandchildren, I cheat a little, I put uh, that little baby soft Uh, in, on the side of the galette after it's baked, when it's cold already. Okay, uh, so you, you poke it into the side? Yes. And then try to cover your traces so that your grandkids don't know. <laughs> um, we have a question. The, um, the link to the recipe for the galette gives the recipe for the galette, but not the other recipes necessary to make the galette, like the puff pastry. Would you be able to provide, would your team be able to provide those recipes as well? Oh, the puff oh, pastry and the frangipane? Page 28 and 29. For the people who don't have the book though. Oh. For, if you don't have the book, you will not know how to do puff pastry. <laughs> Fine. You have to get the book. <laughs> End of the story. <laughs> Histoire, achetez-le. Vous gagnez le quiz. Oh, yeah. You could win it coming up in our quiz, exactly. Oh, um, so, page 28 and 29, you have two formula. One is uh, the classic with sim simple turn, and one is uh, quick speed with a double turn. So they are exactly the same recipes. It's only a way, different way to, to fold the dough. And uh, with double turn, the double turn, uh, you fold it faster, obviously. Okay. We do have a question from Rosemary. Do the majority yes. of French people have this cake on the Epiphany? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, that's a strong Catholic tradition. and. Uh, There is no epiphany without uh, <laughs> uh, without that cake. So, so what we do, we we ask the the, the youngest child of the family to go under the table. We cut uh, the galette, we, and uh, we point uh, the, the serving spoon to one slice, and we say, "Who is going to get?" that uh, slice and the little one has to say grandma or grandpa or whatever or my sister or whatever and obviously the, the last the last slice is the one that is or that has the the baby and when the the, the child come from under the table uh, then everybody eat the cake together and uh, surprised <laughs> is the king of the party so <laughs> Uh, we do that for brioche also, also but, but really the, 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 the true, the true, uh, is, is, is the true uh, method is uh, la galette des rois, avec la, la pâte feuilletée, 
Mais on peut mettre les bébés dans, dans, dans une couronne de brioche, vous voyez. Alors ça, c'est une autre page, je pas le numéro de la page, là, mais vous la trouverez. OK, thank you. Um, another question. What do you recommend serving to drink with the Galette des Rois? Ah, là, euh, <rire> les Français, c'est le champagne. Hein? Ah. Alors, euh, bon, si vous n'avez pas euh, pensé à économiser <rire> pour acheter du champagne, euh, du cidre bouché. Mais okay. frappé, bien frappé euh, comme le champagne. Hein? Il faut que ça pop. OK, so uh, cidre, a cider. Yeah, a sparkling, oui, sparkling un... alcoholic cider. Oh, un cidre bouché, c'est un, un cidre qui a une double fermentation, comme le champagne. Hein. C'est mm -hmm. pas, pas, pas du jus de pomme, attention. No, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Chef Le Nôtre, is uh, Epiphany the only time that you can purchase a galette des rois at a pâtisserie? Or are they available year round? Uh, You, you can make a, a, a place a special order for to have it another time, mm. but you will pay more <laughs> because <laughs> on the first Sunday of the year, uh, after Christmas, uh, you uh, the baker makes so many of them, so the price uh, normally should be mm -hmm. lower. Right? That makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Ne next week we have we are donating 200. Uh, king cakes to the EFGH. Uh, it, it's a French organization teaching uh, young kids, uh, uh, French kids who are not going to French school uh, to learn French on Saturdays. Oh, wonderful. So they get to have uh, some galette next yeah. week. Um, do most people make the cake or do they buy it? Oh, I suppose they buy it. Mm. It, uh, it takes some time, and you have a you have a meal to prepare anyway. <laughs> That's true. Uh, as a consistent as a, the Christmas dinner. Chef <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. an occasion. <laughs> Chef Lenoble, do you recommend eating the cake cold or still a little warm? Uh, still a little warm, definitely. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay. A lot warm. A lot warm. Okay, so pretty soon after taking it out of the oven. Yes, or, or you can re, uh, reheat it uh, on the... Uh, yeah. Um, would you reheat it in the oven? Or could you reheat it in the microwave? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. Not in the microwave. <laughs> no, no, in the oven. Okay, at what temperature and for how long? Why do I do that? Why do I say that? It's because mm -hmm. in, the, in the oven you will control the temperature uh, much better than with the microwave. What do you recommend? What temperature and for how long? If you're reheating a cold galette, for example. I will say 300 for, uh, I don't know, uh, 10 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes. Okay. Depend of the oven. Each oven is different. Remember? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, so stay close to your oven. <laughs> uh, is the almond powder just finely ground almonds? Yes. So that's something that somebody could do at home. They could grind the almonds themselves. Yes, yes. It's maybe better. It will be fresher this way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I think one more question before we turn to our quiz today. Does your school in Houston have a restaurant that pe where people can buy the Galette des Rois? No, we don't uh, have a bakery for uh, to go. No. Okay. We we we, uh, we focus on the education and we are closed on weekend. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, one last question. Could I use almond flour from Trader Joe's? I think so. I need to try that, but uh, why not? I have to say that's what I used when I made my galette that's this year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so maybe you will reduce a little bit the almond in the, in the 
in the cream or the same quantity same quantity they will, they will you will have a stronger almond taste okay uh, and in fact we have one more question from rosemary oh. is the mardi gras cake also called a king's cake with the green gold and purple top uh, yes yes that come at the same same day okay that's the same c'est la même fête c'est la même fête okay all right good thank you well with no further ado let's move on to the rules of the patisserie quiz so we're going to show you a photo of a french patisserie and there will be three questions to answer for each one if you are the first person to correctly answer all three of the questions for that dessert by putting all of your answers into the same chat comment, all three parts of the answer, you'll win a signed copy of French, French pastries and desserts by Le Nôtre. Okay, is everybody ready? So the first question is, what is the name of this dessert? What is the origin of this dessert? And what is it made of? I think we had somebody last time who asked for a couple more seconds for people to get their thoughts together and type out their answers. So perhaps we can give everybody about 30 seconds. What is the name of the dessert that you see here? What is the origin of this dessert and what is it made of? About 15 more seconds. No, no, no. Okay, all right, let's see. Oops, that was my timer. <laughs> All right, let's see what answers we have here. Rosemary says, Tarte Tatin, in a lodge in the north of France by two sisters, and it was a mistake by flipping the apple pie over in the pan. And NC says, Excellent. Who said that? Uh, the first one, that was Rosemary. Rosemary, yeah. yeah. Yeah, good. Are you French? If you, Rosemary can unmute herself now if she'd like to. <laughs> American and professor. Ah. <laughs> um, NC said almonds, almond king's cake, France epiphany. Uh, three kings visiting baby Jesus made of puff pastry and frangipan cream. Puff pastry, frangipan cream. Epiphany, no, that that wasn't it. Yeah. And Josette de Marche says tartata made with apples and from the Tata sisters. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, great. So it looks like we have two winners, Rosemary and Josette. Félicitations. <laughs> so send you a, we send you our French pastry and dessert sign. I'm going to put our, my email address in the chat. So if the, if the winners could email me their mailing address, that would be great. You want email address? If you could send address. us your, your shipping address. Oh, okay. So the book Wonderful. can be shipped to you. Yeah. Oh, surprise. Merci. <laughs> <laughs> I am the only king tonight. Alan Tosh and Jerry Pease. We have, we have a queen and a king. Hello. <laughs> I like the bridge oh, behind wow. you. Alexandre III. Uh, splendid. Uh, the most beautiful in Paris. Yeah. We went to a an event that the Alliance Francaise of Hartford had, and they had a galette de roi, and Alan got the <laughs> the, the bean, the fèvre, and got the crown. So that's why we wanted to make sure he was wearing the crown today. Excellent. <laughs> Merci. 
I mean. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to question number two. Ah, we saw answer number one. Let's see. Yeah, good. yeah we saw that that was right. It was named after the Tatan sisters who operated a hotel in the Loire Valley region in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. And the origin story of the Tarte was that it was invented by accident by one of the Tatan sisters, Stephanie or Caroline, in their restaurant in La Motte Beuvron. According to one version of the story, Stephanie was preparing a traditional apple pie one day, but left the apples cooking in butter and sugar for too long and they began to caramelize. Rather than start over, she decided to place the pie crust on top of the caramelized apples and finished baking it in the oven. The result was a delicious caramelized apple tart that was served upside down, revealing the beautifully caramelized apples on top. The dish quickly became popular with their customers and soon made its way onto the menu at the Tatins restaurant. And later it was introduced in many French restaurants. Today, the Tarte Tatin is considered one of the classic French pastries and is enjoyed around the world. The Tarte Tatin is usually prepared with a short crust, short crust pastry, but there are variations with puff pastry too. Um, and here it says it's an open recipe and can be made in many ways with other fruits such as pears and pineapple. Okay, question number two. What is the name of this dessert? And what is the origin of this dessert? And what is it made of? Again, we'll give you about 30 seconds to put your answers in the chat. Du Périgord, non? Du Sud-Ouest. Ok. Ok, we have, let's see. Do we have any guesses? No guesses? Ah, Arden says that it's a walnut cake. Not bad. Not bad. Big. Josette says a gâteau de noix. Something. Candice says a noisetier. A noisette. No. Or a gâteau aux noisettes. No. Uh, jo Joan says a Paris-Brest Paris made of praline. No. no. Coco says a tarte de noix. Torte de noix. Oui. Walnut pecan. Correct. Josette says walnuts are a big industry in the Perigord, hence the dessert. Excellent. It's southwest of France. Yeah. Mm. They, they have a truffle there and <laughs> and uh, foie gras and <laughs> and tarte noir. The place to visit. It's so it Looks like we had a couple of different tarte noir answers. We had Coco. Uh, Arden said walnut cake. What do you think about that answer, Chef Le Nôtre? Pardon, excuse, excuse no, me. C'est pas grave. Uh, Arden said walnut cake, um, but didn't give any answers yeah. to the origin or the or the or how it's made. I'll let you decide. Hmm. And Josette. I will be generous, you know. It's a... Okay. Then... We are still in the Christmas season. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we, we have Coco, Josette, and Arden. Well, since Josette won for the last time, um, I think we'll say Coco and Arden. Yes. Right. Felicitations. Let's, oh. take, let's take a look at the details about this dessert. It is a tarte aux noix. Its origin is unclear, but it's more than likely from the southwest of France. And it's typically, typically consists of a pastry crust filled with a mixture of five different types of nuts, such as almonds, hazelnuts, walnuts, pecans, and pistachios. The nuts are often chopped and mixed with butter, sugar, and eggs to create a rich, nutty filling. What's that? 
Can you suggest a couple of them? If you could also put your addresses in the chat, your mailing addresses, that would be great. Okay, let's move on to the third and final quiz question. What is the name of this dessert? What is the origin of this dessert and what is it made of? Okay, any guesses? Any guesses? Candice says an amandier. Coco says pumpkin pie. Oh, Anna, nice. Anna says a uh, far breton. Um, Marianne says gâteaux amand, gâteaux amandes. No. No. Lisa says some kind of almond cake. No. Arden says gâteau Nantes. No. I think you may have stumped them all with that one, Chef Le Nôtre. Oh, this one. Ah, Fiadon, what is that? This one is close to my heart. Ah. Ah. Fiadon, uh, Jacques says Tarte Santiago. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's, it's page 256, but it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> You did it, you stumped them this time. Second tip. Tell us what this dessert is. Well, it's west of France. It's Tarte Normande. So it's apple again. And Calvados, poach and Calvados. Brandy. And it's, it, it's served with ice cream or, or, or if we want. But. The, the, the interesting part of it is the glass royale, the glazing on the top, the sh that shiny glass royale on the top, page 256. It's crispy and uh, it's sweet. Look good. And why is the Tarte Normande glass royale one of your favorites? Yeah, obviously. Being born uh, close to Honfleur and Saint, Saint, Mont Saint Michel. You're from the same region as the cake. Yes. Yeah. If, Did you we, have it growing we up? No, you have a song. J'irai revoir ma Normandie. C'est le pays qui m'a donné le jour. Voilà. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> So we frame. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you eat this cake when you were growing up? Oh, I was it? You no, know, I was. I grew up uh, in, in a pastry shop, so in the best in the region. So I eat everything. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the more the better. Never a day without a cake in the Lenoir household. <laughs> we we were we were punished to take a second slice of cake if we did not behave. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been too cruel to be punished not to have this <laughs> well we have a couple more questions uh, a couple more minutes left if anybody has any extra questions about the galette des rois or any of the um, pastries that we saw during the quiz if not let me share one more slide about how you can purchase the book if you don't already have a copy it's available at the Culinary Institute website. So you can purchase the book and I believe that Chef Le Nôtre will also um, send a signed copy when you purchase it. With pleasure. 
Please be here. Oh, someone wants to know if they if they could buy a signed copy of the cookbook at your school if they if they are local and they come in yes absolutely it, the, the boutique is open to the public yeah. oh good good to know from texas or from houston yes the, the comment was from nc i, I see, I see. <laughs> and nc north carolina it's a long trip yes in houston Best you can. He's in Houston. Yes. Merci beaucoup. No. Yeah. Yes, I am. I am in Houston. Oh, all right. I, I was reading another, another. All right. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I, will be glad to, I, will, I will be glad to have a coffee and, <laughs> and, and an extra slice of pastry with you. <laughs> oh, uh, C'est gentil. Chef Lenoch, we have one more question about the book itself. How many recipes are there in the book? And what category of foods are there? It's, it's just desserts, right? It's patisserie and cakes. Uh, uh, around 250, uh, 250 recipes. 250. Yes, yes. And, and there are, but you, you also have, a, you know, uh, not just cake, you, you have a lot of techniques on, on everything. Uh, um, cookies, a lot of cookies, and see, the diamond. You have petit four, miniature, miniature petit four for your buffet. Tarts, food cakes. Yeah, do too. Peaches in red wine syrup. Mm. A lot of choice. <laughs> Wonderful. You have apple in your in your yard. Souffles, crepes, more more petit fours. Yeah, they're gorgeous. It's making me hungry. <laughs> A large variety of, of desserts. Very festive. Well, Chef Le Nôtre, we will thank you profusely for your participation in today's event, for showing us how to make the Galette des Rois. And we look forward to seeing you again on Valentine's Day, on February 14th, when you're going to show us how to make a financier. So we'll see yes. you on Valentine's Day. <laughs> See you for Valentine's Day. Okay. Merci beaucoup, Chef Lenoch. Au revoir, mes amis. <laughs> Au revoir.